Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Kors Heck. Welcome back to part 40 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. In this episode, we're just gonna go through some of the Zelmite mines and go and find uh, a certain somebody that you will soon see. Or if you just skip, you'll see it right now. Um, I just did a lure glitch, so I'm gonna just kind of sell this stuff and buy some diamonds. So yeah, I pretty much just wanted to show you guys me buying the diamonds. They're super expensive, every 200 lures is about one diamond. I think that it's just very worth your time to do this, it's the fastest way. There's enough of a grind in this game for the metalhead trophy already anyway. So it's okay doing in my opinion. I'm pretty much going to be using those for Monica's armband honestly. Alright, we got a diamonds. Now let's go to the mans. Alright. So, which one? This one. That was cheesy. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I am going to go the sun route, because I'm going to assume that that'll take us to the left. So we aren't going to do that metal on this exact run, I just want to speed through this place. Okay, we should probably open chests, just because the gate key monster might be behind the, um, the locked door. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Perfect timing. So the guy that we need is down in this big room over here. Sweet. A fairy, huh? Okay, we're getting- we're getting swamped! I don't even know which enemy has it, there's too much going on here. Well, I guess we're gonna just start blowing stuff up. <laughs> Alright. Nova Cannon until we win, basically. Okay, the enemy we need is this guy right here. I think. I'm, like, pretty sure. It would help if my lock-on wasn't changing constantly. Okay, let's just get out of here for a sec and reevaluate the situation. <laughs> and we may as well open this. No, we're not. It's a mimic. Ah, oh, no, the gate key monster did not follow us. That would have been too easy. I'm gonna assume it's this guy. No, it's this one. He's going down, almost there. Okay, and Sieve is broken. Okay, well we got him away from the pack, which is good. Let's, let's let Monica deal with this, she's super overpowered. Alright, we got it. That was not clean at all, but we got it. Let's get out of here. And I guess we're probably going to have Cedric fix Steve for us. Okay. I want to go the sun route because I kind of assume that's going to take us to the left. We need to unlock both sides anyway. But I want to try and rush to the, um... To a certain room as fast as possible because there's a, pi a missable picture for us to get there. And once we get that picture, we can make every single invention. Okay, yeah, uh, that's what I assumed, so that's the, it's the road to truth. All right, so I think it'll be worth trying to complete this level on time, since we're gonna have to come back and use items anyway. Or we could maybe just try and do the item thing on this first run-through. 
That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I think we'll clear. I think we're gonna clear it with items. I'll probably have it, uh, I'll probably have Monica do it because I want her to get some level ups on her armband. And it's a lot easier to level up the armband, um, It's a lot easier to level up the armband passively with items than it is to actually use the thing most of the time. Okay, we are just gonna have Cedric fix up the ride pod for us anyway. Uh, he's in this one. We actually, I'm actually just so used to coming to his house when it's not necessary because Cedric is actually just the guy manning the train now. So we can really just go to a station and it'll do the same thing. It's just an old habit now, I guess. Nope, wrong dungeon. Over here. Alright. <laughs> I wonder how fun this is gonna be. I am gonna try and stick with only using bombs. <clears throat> Which I do recommend that you do. Since the lightning stones and all those weapons are very hard to come by, it's better if you can just use items that you can just create and try to take enemies out in groups to save as many items as you possibly can. And you can just buy these, so that's fine to use them for easier to reach enemies. Punto, or Pudos. Okay, sweet, this does tolerable damage. Tolerable damage. It's better than if it only did like 3, three HP, <laughs> which would not really be acceptable. Okay. That's gonna get annoying really quick. These are gonna be BE. Ridiculously tedious metals. Get hit once, time to open up a menu and heal. And this is just one enemy. Although these enemies are the worst. The, the designers knew what they were doing when they made an item only floor and put frogs in here. They knew how annoying this would be for everybody. And she's freaking dead, okay. Getting impatient will make it so you have to use a uh, resurrection powder. Well, it's a good thing I have a max stack, seriously. Although needing to use 26 items to take out one enemy is ludicrous. Well, anyway, we got it. I'm gonna try to use final bombs here. Just because there's two enemies, so it'll save a little bit of time. And this is where it's good to have uh, fire and wind crystals, and attack crystals, and gunpowder, so that you can just make more bombs. And they just have so much HP. Okay, so some enemies can actually get slowed by these things, and yet they somehow still dodge. <laughs> Alright. Okay. He even goes down slowly. Okay, there we go. I'm going to, um, equip my sun armband now. Because I want to get this thing up to plus five and then break it down onto my other brassard. That'll be the most efficient way to get the flame and cyclone up on it. Okay, so far it's uh, Pudos. I don't want to. I don't want to fight you. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe we can stop them with the cherry. That would be amazing, actually. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That makes these things a lot easier. 
Okay, so use the cherries on these frogs. That'll make your life a, like 98 times easier. Okay, that's beautiful, actually. There we go. It still takes like 20 items, and it is incredibly tedious, but it is significantly easier to do it like that. Oh. How are bombs on these things? They're okay. This will also petrify the enemy. I'm not going to use all of these, because as far as I know you can't buy them, but I want to see how much damage it does. Yeah, they're super weak. That's about what I thought. Uh, we can try poison apples, maybe. I think that it might be a better idea to slow these guys. They're kind of quick. Although I'm about to run out of these items here anyway. You can just knock these guys down with your bombs like that. Although I think it's better to, or easier to just use one item. Even slowing them down, they're just really quick. This is just a menu mini game. <laughs> Okay, we're making progress. Very slowly, but surely. Uh, we'll, we'll open it, why not? Who knows what's in here? Could be something useful. It's not like we don't have keys or something. Literal gold bars. We only need those for like one thing in the game though, so. Scarecrow. Oh, man. So, that's a problem. That is a freaking problem. I don't know if that thing just hurt itself with its own bomb. So, like, that can... That, that can be an issue. I... I don't know if that counts as an item. It probably doesn't. And knowing this game, it doesn't. So... I guess we're done on this floor. That is a pain in the ass. I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, so all that all that time for nothing. Alright. Gotta love it. This is gonna be so much fun getting this medal. I have the weekend off, luckily, and it's probably gonna take the entire thing to do this place. Let's just get out of this floor. Where's the gate key monster? That is very annoying. It's frustrating. It is what it is. I want to get her armband another level. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. We're just going to have Steve fly us off of this floor. Unfortunately, I, that's probably going to be a very common occurrence. Which I really don't like. I'm really not looking forward to doing the item medals on the uh, even later floors when the enemies have like 12,000 HP. <laughs> That'll be even worse. But these scarecrow monsters already make it suck. The fact that it do that I dealt damage to it with its own item will 100% not count for the medal. I I just know it. I know how this game works, and that it's just going to be a waste of time. It'll just straight up be a waste of time and not worth risking anything for. Okay, so I'm going to save. The thing is, I don't really even want to bother for any of these medals because, like, I just know 
that it's gonna take so long anyway that I may as well just kind of clear through this dungeon and build up our weapons as powerful as they can be and then try and go through here again. Which is, I really don't like that because I want to get this place done as efficiently as possible. But it's kind of uh, ineffective to do that. Okay, so we're going to go the sun route again. Because there is a certain floor that I want to get us to. I still have another hour I can put into this exact, into this specific video before I have to get ready for work. This is actually a small floor, so I think it might be worth trying for the uh, right hand metal. And besides, Max's hammer needs some levels anyway. Oh man, look at look at how slow this thing's HP is going down. Yeah, we're not gonna do this metal. That is just terrible damage. <laughs> we'll just wait until Max's hammer can literally do like six times more damage than that. Okay, let's bring him down. The enemies are uh, really picking up with their HP now. a lot of experience. The great tree, huh? We're gonna let Steve deal with that. That's that's a Steve problem. Look at how much H this thing probably has like 5,000 hit points. And Max is way too weak right now to deal with that. I mean like look at what 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 is that? Did the big guy just dis Yeah and I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on here honestly. The thing is, if any of those explosions were to deal damage to anything, it would literally make it so you can't even get the right hand metal. Oh, I'm looking forward to going through here and getting all the medals. I really love this game, if I'm not doing the metalhead trophy. <laughs> I will make a review of this game after um, I've completed the Platinum walkthrough series. Because it's just something I want to talk about. I really do love this game, but this metalhead grind is kind of making me rethink my life choices, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I did the um, spear grid grind and got the uh, platinum trophy in Final Fantasy X, but on computer, and that wasn't even as bad as the metalhead grind in this game. Because literally, if you're unlucky, one metal can straight up take, like, 25 minutes. <laughs> and it's kind of crappy. Hell fairy. Okay, well, these are going to be the easier enemies to take out with his hammer, as soon as I say that. I don't like that kick attack. It's very inefficient, and it leaves you open for attack. The reason that I don't like Max's hammer is because it's slow. Honestly, when I get the legend hammer and show you guys the achievement, I, f I think that it might be better to just break down the legend and build up the ultimate wrench. Because I'm pretty sure their st I'm pretty sure their stat caps are the exact same anyway. So this way you have a faster weapon that deals the same damage, so you can get more stuff done effectively. Did we get the oil already? Yeah, we did. Let's look at Max's hammer quickly. Okay, it just needs a small amount of Cyclone and Smash. I could get this thing ready for build-up right now if I wanted to. So I think we're just going to get out of this place. Okay, I think going the sun route is going to take us where we need to go. Yes, right here. Uh, 
Well, we just had it. Where is it? Right here. Clear all without healing. That should be a little bit easier. It looks like we're up against just Gundrons on this floor. Well, there's nothing about this place is easy. It is an ultimate dungeon after all. Or a secret dungeon, whatever you want to call it. Although it's not so secret, you get access to it after you beat the last boss. When I first beat this game for the very first time, I thought it was really cool that there was a hidden dungeon afterwards. I actually beat Dark Cloud 2 for the first time before I beat Dark Cloud 1. I like Dark Cloud 1, but no, nowhere near as much as this game. There are a few aspects in Dark Cloud 1 which I was always really amazed by. I don't really think it's a spoiler. Well, it is, but I, I won't go too into depth to actually spoil it. In Chapter 5, there was, um... I think it was Chapter 5. What I will say is you eventually go to the moon, and there's something there that was really cool to me, and the boss fight in the same place was also really cool. Let's just hop on Monica. Yeah, like, look at the damage that you deal when you have, like, somewhat ultimate weapons. So, it'll definitely be worth doing these medals when we have better, better equipment. Um, yeah, her, I want to equip her good armband to deal the final blow. Okay, now we'll put the sun armband back on, and the XP won't be shared with anything. Man, like a full level and a half. Okay, we'll put the normal one back on now. Let's try and get her sun armlet to plus five in this level. We just have to do this without healing, it's very doable, as long as we don't get impatient. Okay, not quite what I wanted to do, but it's it's fine. Man, this thing's like plus 15, and look at how much experience we actually get. Got some premium chicken. Oh, she does a lot of damage against these guys. Okay, here's where things get annoying. Okay, we'll quickly put this guy on and just absorb these things magic if they attack us. Let's see if we can lure this guy over here. Make our life a little bit easier. Okay. It seems like the other guys are just trying to blast me through the wall. They're gonna have a hard time doing that. Okay, let's... Oh, we can't heal. Okay, well, if Monica dies, that's it. I didn't even see that happen. Whatever. We'll let Max finish this up. Try to do seven things at once and then I can't do one of them effectively at all. That's, that's usually how things work, however. Well, Max's hammer still needs a couple levels, and the less level up powder I use is probably for the better. Okay, I don't have the oil, I believe, right? 
No, let's just do that quickly. Oh. Oh no, it's just a critical hit, that's why. Man, this is so slow. <laughs> Well, the poison damage is pretty decent, actually. It's the damage of, like, an entire attack. Oh, I think I saw a blink, so one of these guys has the thing. Oh, no, none of them do. The one right in front of the, uh... The exit has it, though, so we'll go there. I forgot that that'll happen sometimes. I don't really want to rely on it though, because it's not, uh, it doesn't always happen. As you guys saw, I kind of stopped giving in to that attack. Since it's been a little while since I played, I have forgotten how uh, how long it actually takes to take some of these guys out. Okay, is this the sun or moon? This is the sun exit. So we're gonna go this way over here. Here's the oil. Cool. We got it. Okay. This is the area I was thinking about. Um, I kind of want to end the video with that dungeon, so we're just going to kind of go back and reopen up the moon, pa the moon passages quickly. That room should only take about 10 minutes, and if I can get Monica's armor man a little bit stronger, it'll be a little bit easier. All right, back in. Pretty much what I'm gonna be doing in these actual clearing videos is just clearing the dungeon. The actual metal grinding I'll likely be doing off camera and just I'm basically going to be kind of showing you guys, like, just leveling up all the weapons as much as possible. And just kind of making them as strong as possible so you kind of see what I'm going to be having for the actual grind. And it will be a grind, because <laughs> there's a lot of floors here, and these floors take a long time. And as you saw with the Scarecrow thing, the item floors can get messed up just like that. Too easily, if you ask me. Okay, well, we can heal now, so we don't really have much to worry about. Yeah, just look at the power difference between her sword and her armband. So, something needs to change there. <laughs> oh, I forgot to change weapons. Okay, well, better late than never. Got us some progress, after all. Let's just wait for him to come to us. There we go. Sun omelet on. It's a lot of experience. 
for such a powerful weapon too. If I just had some low end Versard, I'd probably just go straight to plus five and one enemy takedown. I actually remember in one of my original playthroughs, off camera, like when I was younger, I, I, I came here with like eight battle wrenches and just let them all level up and then I would just break them down to build up our weapons. It's something you can do, but the more powerful your weapon, the more efficient it'll be. I kind of just want to lazy man it and use a level up powder, but after these two enemies, our sun armlet will be plus five anyway. It's not that bad of a grind. Just use her sword to take the enemies down, and use the Brassard for the final blow. Okay, we have to... There we go. Yeah, I don't think poison will kill enemies in this game either, which is actually a good thing. Okay, we need one more, unfortunately. Oh well. I ignored that chest over there. Why did I do that? Was it was there something wrong with it? I don't remember. No effect. Okay, so we got to do it. There we go. Then this should get it up to plus 5. Okay, sweet. Okay, that kind of sucks. I mean, I used a few of them, right? How many was that chest gonna give me? Three or four or something? Anyway, we got our weapon to plus five. So, I did not want to use that. I knew, whatever, it's cheap to replace now. Okay, so we need Lightning Smash Beast Cyclone Exorcism. I'm pretty sure this has Cyclone Exorcism already. Yeah. So, I think we'll put like 16 Smash, 16 Beast on here. Kind of help things along. This is a good little bump, for sure. It'll make her armband significantly more powerful, noticeably so. All right, break it down. Oh yeah, that'll help out with the level significantly. Five points. And it gives you all of this. <laughs> she might not need any more Cyclone. No, she doesn't. So I can probably put a couple diamonds on there. They're up here. It's unfortunately not going to be the most efficient thing since some stats are capped, but it is what it is. It, take, it took me 20 minutes to use the infinite money glitch to um, get 9 diamonds. Sweet, so it just needs exorcism and beast now. This is where I can lazy man it with the level up powder. How powerful is this thing now? Not, not very noticeable. So wait, so what did I need exactly? Just beast and exorcism. So what are on these swords here? I could probably get them to plus five. I mean, I could use the stats on there. The cyclone might get wasted. I could probably use the stats on that sword pretty effectively. Hmm. Let's look at his hammer. Let's 
Nothing really needs any of that. I can just kind of use those weapons for point bumps later on. What's on here? Beast and Cyclone, huh? Well, I mean, can probably get that and like... I wonder how level, how quickly this will level up. Very quickly. We can probably use that one, that one right now. Okay, so this is the exit that we're going to want to go down later. Let's heal her, since this place is literally like 100 HP per hit. Sword back on. The sword's gonna become super powerful soon. I think at midnight it goes to like super overpowered mode. Oh, yeah, no, nine o'clock. Yeah, so its attack is literally quadrupled. <laughs> it's an interesting sword. It doesn't seem like it turns over when you have the thing physically equipped. You need to put it into your inventory. Okay, let, let's let this thing come to us. There we go. Make our lives a little bit easier. Back on. Um, now let's just eat some cheese. It's okay if it leaves the empty spot, I'll just buy some more. You still haven't gotten the trolley oil, actually. Well, that makes it a little easier, I suppose. Let's just go monster form. It's slightly faster, so it'll get us over there quicker. We could actually just talk with most of these enemies now, too, if we really wanted to. Well, we may as well clear this floor, because there's probably like a Fruit of Eden or something for actually winning the Speeda. That's why I didn't open it. Well, let's just do it anyway. Another Sun Armlet. Well, we can, we can still use that, because it is the most efficient way to level up weapons anyway. A mouse snuck its way in here somehow, can't you smell it? I got me a good honker here. In ancient times, our kind was revered and worshipped as gods, but now it's crazy. What's the world coming to? Premium chicken. Can we get them both close together? So I can take them both out at once? That doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Let's get the lamb sword on quickly. Does this thing deal damage? Barely. Use the brassard to lower this thing's HP. Both of those are inefficient things.
Okay, well, we got him. Sl too slowly, but surely. I can use the stats on that thing. So we may uh, level that sword up after the lamb sword. I don't think it would take too long either. It's a very weak weapon. Well, it's not too weak, but it is a lower end one. Like that's chapter three quality weapon. Three at, three at once. Two would be a lot more tolerable. Okay, let's get this sword on quickly. This should be enough experience for what we need. Yes. Okay, let's get this guy on now. Cool. One and a half. We may as well just get the antique up to plus five. We should be able to do that in this floor. Oh, why can't they just stop rolling at me and kind of group up together? Come on, just group up together. Man, they just really want to make this hard. I wish there was a more efficient way to do this than opening up the menu, but there is not. Not without mods, and I don't really like mods. In-game glitches to save yourself 37 hours of time, that is something I'm okay with. Like, there's, there, there's still challenge here with the infinite money glitch. All that does is save you time. See if I can go get a heal off of that thing so I don't have to use so many items. I can just go buy more, but I mean I'm lazy and I try I, I want to put that off for as long as I can, I guess. That's fine. I don't really want to use all my luck up now anyway. and fork back on. Even these things are pretty strong. They have like 5,000 HP each. Monica is definitely the most powerful thing that I have. The most powerful character I have. Is this thing already plus 5? Oh, that was quick. Okay. So we can finish the other two with this sword and we might get it a level up actually. Yes. So I'm not going to take the teleport to the speedo. We're literally all the way at the end of the map anyway, so no matter where the thing spawns it's not going to be that inefficient. Yeah, I would have been surprised if we actually got that in the time, in the time window that they wanted. All right. So he needs Smash and Cyclone. Mm. 
This sword has Beast and Cyclone. Has the Cyclone on his hammer, he could use some. Or the Beast, the Beast will get maxed out. And then on this thing, the Cyclone's maxed, but she can use the Beast. Uh, there's no right choice there, unfortunately. Okay, let's just uh, zoom on over to the speed of thing. So it seems like we need at least six shots to do this one. Let's see if they gave us enough. I did kind of figure that the ball would spawn over here because it's the most, the most inefficient place it could have spawned for us to travel. We get the absolute bare minimum. All right. I hope that's not too hard. It is too hard. I think we can still get around that though. Maybe. It's kind of looking like a barely. Let's see if we can make that work. I don't know if we can do this. We need to get this lodged into a straight shot over here somehow. That doesn't look too bad. Famous last words. Okay, looks like we got lucky. So this is a straight shot. Okay, that seemed to have worked out okay, I guess. How is this? Um, I don't know if this is possible. And I hit it a little too hard. It would have been pure luck if that went in. All right. I'm really not looking forward to doing this grind. Oh well, we're mostly done. Chapter one, chapter seven's already done because it kind of has to be. And one through six is like 90% done. Okay, we have that path open up, opened up. I think that we can do another floor. Or we could do two quickly. Um, yeah, let's open up this path first. Oh, well, the enemy we need is right here, literally. We're gonna let Steve handle this, though. Or maybe just bring this guy over here and we'll take care of him here by himself. Alright, and Steve can handle this big guy. 
Oh, well, it's lucky we got him so so close. So we'll be able to. Uh... Is this the is this the moon exit right here too? Oh, we got really lucky actually with that spawn. Cool. Maybe I'll just hop on Monica and let her do this. Maybe that's a good idea. Only time will tell. This guy disappears while his little guys are out. I mean, it's kind of cool, actually. And she's dead. That's about right. Oh, Monica. These little guys do a lot of damage. Okay. Well, that's another path opened up. Alright, let's just exit out and go back in, and then we'll open up that last path. Alright, so yeah, that's open, that's open. This is open, so it's just this one right here. Okay, so I want to keep my file 6 and 7, so we're going to be using file 8 through 13. Not that one, this one. I think this is one of the easier floors in comparison to the other ones that we were just on anyway. Okay, let's try and get Max's hammer another level up. Okay, this is definitely not going to be an easier one. <laughs> All right, Steve, you do this. You spend the 13 minutes killing this one enemy. I wish I was joking. <laughs> We're gonna have to play around with which one of C's weapons are the best legendary weapons. We are probably gonna sell off all our Giorama materials to hold on to our large array of weaponry. Because I think it'll actually be worth having all the different kinds of weapons. Because some enemies are going to be weaker against different kinds of weapons. Let's get on Max. He can use that experience a lot better than Steve can. Actually, Steve can't even use that experience to begin with. Okay, these are pretty easy enemies. Not much to worry about with them. They're slow. As long as you have them in a stun lock, that is. Okay, well that happened a little bit quicker than I thought, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so we can put 13 points into it. Honestly, maybe we can just get this ready right now. Um, five smash. I don't know if we can get this ready right now. Uh, they use two synthesis points. It's okay. This thing's kind of like using a diamond, honestly. Uh, I think I'll save the other one. And I will. What does this thing give us? Cyclone. So that would actually be pretty useful to get. All right, Monica, you're up. You are going to level up a thorn armband for us. A 
What does this thing still need? Just exorcism and beast, okay. There's another one of those night guys. Okay, well, Monica's good against these things. How good is she against literal projectiles, though? About as good as Max, actually. Okay, two level ups, cool. Eat a piece of chicken, fix your weapon, and keep the armor, just get punched. Okay, she's, he's gonna break through her defenses real quick. Before he does that whole spiel. Okay, this back on. Okay, Mimic. Maybe it'll be exactly what we need to get this thing plus five. It would be nice. No, we need another one. All right. Oh well. Monster form, because it's slightly faster. Does that enemy have the thing? No. The mimics are very easy for her to take out, so I'm okay if we find another one. If it spawns in a convenient location, anyway. Alright, this thing's plus five. Just a little bit of smash and cyclone. Uh, that might be a little too much. Let's just do 30 cyclone. Yeah, so the 60 is the cap on this one. And then we'll just put 12 smash onto it and kind of hope that that's enough. It'll also give uh, ABS up to the to his weapon, which isn't bad. Alright. I think it'll also max the durability on this weapon, if it isn't already. I think that'll make it ready for build-up. I'm pretty sure. Yes. So that's ready. Now it's just Monica's armband that's falling behind. And honestly, I'm probably gonna lazy man it with the. and just frickin' level up powder it. Alright, let's get on the ride pod and find our last enemy. And we should probably try and open this, because it might be a magic crystal, and that'll save us some time. No, it wasn't, but we're checking anyway. No. This is a clown. Yeah. There's some kind of uh, animation slow when you open the chest. Which shall it be? Very good. Here you are. I will take that. Uh, let's just check over here to make sure there isn't some guy hiding in the corner. No, it's fine.
Oh yeah, Pixie's gonna have it. None of these ones have it though. I remember this floor. Well, I mean, we did it like 15 minutes ago. That's sweet, he's by himself, nice and easy. Both of Max's weapons are ready to build up. So, we'll let Monica deal with this. Okay, let's get out of here. Nope, other one. So we should most likely go buy some food before we continue off. Alright. Well, every path is open now. We're, we're at this room and we're ready to go. And every weapon is almost ready to build up before the last section. So that is good progress. Let's go buy some chicken. And cheese. You know, I actually can't, I can't think about where we buy cheese. Um, whatever, I know where we can buy chicken. Yeah, I don't know why I can't remember where we buy cheese. Anyway, chicken will be good enough for this anyway. That's too close. Maxed chicken. We're just gonna go to Palm Brinks and save. Alright, time to go to the mini-boss, because that is pretty much what this is. Alright, let's go get it. you off lightly for what you've done to me! Hang on, so Flotsam wasn't being controlled by Griffin? Guess he's just rotten on his own. Ha! Who cares about Griffin anyway? I've got a new boss man now. Griffin was a Girl Scout compared to this guy! <laughs> a new boss? Ready for this? Prepare yourselves! Alright, so, make sure you equip your camera, and we are going to snag a photo of this clown, literally. <laughs> and, boom, that's it. That's all you do, you just get that photo and you're done. Don't delete this photo, but this is a good photo. It lets you pretty much make most of the ultimate weapons. So, Legend of the Moon and Flotsam Revived are very good photos to have for that. So, there's only two more photos to get in the game, but they're not actually really necessary for anything. So, yeah, we got our photo. If you want, you can take a secondary. If you think you can do it without 
getting crushed like me. Anyway, I kind of want to just have a spare copy of this one. Okay. We have two copies. I'm going to immediately stick one into the album. Alright, so Max sucks. <laughs> so we are gonna try and have Monica take care of this guy. We are going to put this on her toolbar and put this on her toolbar. And I use that on Max for some reason. Oh well, we can make these things later. Okay, now he's down on the ground, we'll just attack the guy and die. Okay. Going down to two hits is very frustrating. Well, I guess we're kind of forced to use Max now. Okay, his gun deals decent enough damage, I suppose. Let's just heal. You can let's deal damage to this guy with Steve too. But bosses always take less damage. Oh. I must not be remembering it right. So Steve is actually a very viable way to take this guy down. If you were to use Steve on Griffin, as I showed you earlier, I'm pretty sure, it doesn't really he doesn't really deal any viable amount of damage. Like, if you're okay with spending 10 years doing it, then you can do it. But it seems like Steve against Flotsam is actually a very viable way of doing things. Like, this is pretty safe right here. The ride pod has always been Flotsam's downfall. <laughs> All the way in the beginning, and even right now, too. Okay, we have to f we, ha we have to refuel. He's almost done, so. It makes sense that he's going to try running away. <laughs> I want his jetpack. Look at how quick he's moving. He's even faster than Steve. Well, I don't know about faster, but he's matching pace. And he's done. Fuck me loose of all the ridiculous... What are you talking about? You've lost lots of times already. Yeah. Well, I expect he'll be taking care of you shortly. <laughs> Who could he be? Who knows? It's not a lot of dialogue, but it's still a little bit of story. Anyway, we are done in here now. And we are going to leave it here for this episode. Um, I'm very likely going to just get Monica's armband up to level off camera. I mean, it's literally just get her armband four levels and then build it up. Um, I'm probably just going to end up using the level up powder, honestly, and then sticking some gems on there. And then the next two videos will likely be the trophies for building up the ultimate weapons for both of them. So... We're going to leave it here for this episode. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye. Oh, make sure you keep an extra save so you can go back and do the Flotsam fight.